Good morning. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually at a job site. Um, VA's got me on some medication to help with the vertigo and uh, some of my other issues. So I was cleared to travel. So I'm at a solar site. Got the work done and now I'm waiting for some folks to show up so I can give the technicians training on how to operate their solar field without killing themselves. Hopefully the training will take, you know, sink into their heads. I do have to warn you, I still can't hear, so um, if the audio is really a mess, I apologize. There's really nothing I can do, and I'm really not going to be able to know until after I put it on, on, on uh, YouTube and play it back and see if YouTube's um, closed captioning actually catches what I'm trying to say. So, I'm sure everyone knows, because Twitter's kind of a buzz with it, that uh, a lot of the court documents involving Patrick have kind of come out. And I believe that's due to, uh, what's his name, Dan uh, Mulligan, is it? The guy who does um, a nice podcast, Stupid, who is arguably one of Patrick's most notorious trolls. Um, he went ahead and paid for the documentation and released it. So good on you, Dan. I guess you're doing God's work. Um, it's an interesting read, uh, and I figured I'd give my hot take now. Um, obviously, one, I'm not a lawyer. Two, I'm a clueless boomer. Boomer's a state of mind, in my opinion. Um, so, and I'm, uh, three, I'm, I'm not up to speed on all like the crazy Pat lore. Um, mainly, I just follow stuff on Twitter. And I've only ever had um, one real, real interaction with Patrick. Um, so I'm, I'm just typically, I would say, a normal person that ran into Patrick, the buzzsaw that is Patrick, <laughs> and, and and ended up becoming addicted to trying to f following his antics, if you will. So. This is my general understanding of the whole scenario, or the whole situation, excuse me, the whole situation. And I'm sure I'm not historically accurate. Um, you guys can flame me in the comments for anything that I obviously get wrong, and I will appreciate that to fill me in. So my understanding is there used to be a subreddit dedicated to the old radio show Opie and Anthony, which I never really... I don't think I ever listened to a single episode of it, um, mainly because from 2000 to 2006 I was on active duty, and from 2006 and onward I was basically deaf. So, you know, believe it or not, radio shows don't have a large community of deaf followers. He tried, he got that, that subreddit shut down because he didn't like it, because they were messing with him nonstop. So then they ended up creating a completely different website um, operated, owned and operated by somebody that goes by the name of Quasi. Patrick then got a bunch of money from SIFWA, which is like the Science Fiction Writers of America, I believe. Um, and they funded a moronic lawsuit that Anybody with common sense would say that this is a waste of time and money. However, as my, I, I do have a friend of mine from college. He's a really good friend of mine, and he's a uh, public defender now in Philadelphia. My uh, college buddy always says something along the lines of, you know, like whenever there's a major indictment case, my buddy always says the same thing. It's like, well, a prosecutor can indict a ham sandwich, and it's sort of the same way with lawsuits. If you're willing to pay, a lawyer will sue anyone for any reason. So they sued, they lost, and they ended up getting hit with penalties. I don't remember the exact money. I think it was like like between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, which I would imagine for a lot of Americans would be an inconvenience. It would be frustrating, but I also don't think it would be devastating. Um, granted, there's a lot of Americans that live paycheck to paycheck. But typically when these things happen, um, you can go on some sort of payment plan and so on. 
and instead Patrick did everything he could to just drag this out, incur more and more penalties and so on, and it seems like it's coming to a head. Now, I guess in Wisconsin they have this amortization, uh, th I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize. Um, I've already been told by people that my speech has gotten worse after uh, losing my hearing again. Um, but I believe I said that right. I just struggle to kind of tell if I'm articulating every single uh, syllable. So they have this amortization thing. And we don't call it that here in Appalachia, but it's, it's fundamentally like the same thing. Like, let's say somebody sued me for like $2 million, which is probably equivalent of what Pat's dealing with. Um, I could go and set up with the court where I would have my own lawyer. And of course, the person that owes that I owe money to, we would effectively have a hearing where I would have to open up all my books, like what my assets are, what, um, where do I have assets, like everything, life insurance policies, uh, CDs, uh, uh, certificate, or oh, I'm sorry, stocks, um, what my income is, what my house is worth, how much I have left to pay on my house, what cars do I have, so on and so on and so on. you got to completely open up everything. And then the court kind of acts like an arbitrator and they go, okay, you're going to need to liquidate this you're going to need to liquidate this, you can keep that, we're not going to touch that, and so on. And then they put you on a payment plan. Now, there's two nice things about this when you go through this process, at least in my neck of the woods, and I believe Wisconsin works the same way. One, all the threatening phone calls and, and, and like serving, getting served and stuff, that kind of goes on hold during this entire process because you can't try to get money out of somebody while they're working with you to start a payment plan kind of thing. So that's one big positive. And the other big positive is a lot of times what ends up happening is the courts just kind of, the judge will go, okay, yes, you want a judgment for $15 million, but this person, there is no possible way you're ever going to get $50 million out of it. Let's, let's, let's get a more realistic number here. You know, and this isn't to say that they, they just wipe away the whole stat, of course, but they, they try to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, now, they won't do this for, like, major corporations and stuff, like, with settle, you know, big lawsuits and all, but for, you know, your average rank file person, this is what ends up happening a lot. Now, what it looks like to me is Patrick started this process intending to get the phone calls and the serving to stop but it, it it's it's very apparent that he never just he was just planning on never actually doing anything to set up a payment plan i guess he thought he could just have this go on hold for indefinite and it looks like his own attorney that was handling the amortization process dropped patrick as a client because patrick just I guess stop returning his phone calls and refuse to show up for these hearings and stuff. Basically, it sounds like all the shit that the trolls were claiming that Patrick's been doing, he's actually been doing. Which, I'm not going to lie, I honestly gave Patrick the benefit of the doubt. I, I didn't think he would be this, this pig-headed and stupid. So, now it looks like the, the lawyers that represent I guess the quasi guy, um, they're moving to have Patrick hit with even more financial penalties and then on top of this be found in contempt of court for basically ignoring court rulings. And it is possible that Patrick could end up serving a little bit of time in jail if he's found in contempt of court. You know, I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, how hilarious it is that uh, Mr. Enjoy Prison is now going to prison. Well. You know, obviously Patrick's not going to prison. Prison's reserved primarily for people that are serving two years or more, you know. Whereas, you know, Patrick, Patrick's not going to serve that much time for a contempt of court charge. Usually what ends up happening is he's going to go to jail until he, he gets his head out of his ass. And for somebody like Patrick, that's going to be really quick, like less than 24 hours.
Now, I've been trying to rack my brain as to why Patrick has been doing this. Why he would let this go this far and so on. And I have a theory that one, he does not want to give his quote unquote trolls a win for any reason. He doesn't want to ever pay quasi a dime or whatever. And I can kind of understand that. At the same time, it doesn't make any sense why you would want to drag this out so that you end up having to give them even more money in the long run. I suspect what has actually has happened and what the actual cause is that Patrick is dead set determined to never have to open up his books. And the reason for this is it's the same thing. It'll play out the same way as when the trolls somehow, and this, to this day scares the crap out of me of you ONA guys, because you seem to have you seem to have better resources and expertise in spycraft than um, and espionage than MI6. You see, you see that in his in his GPA and stuff from high school, where like. Patrick should have been put in the special ed classes. Like, this is a guy that barely passed physical education. And he's not the brilliant mind that he claims that he is. And I think the same thing's going to happen when he has to open up his financial records. I don't think for a moment that Patrick is ever going to be required to pay this full debt. Because when he does open up the book, everyone's his, his financial records, everyone's going to go, Oh, wow. Oh wow, sweet child. You have nothing to your name. <laughs> like, like even if you liquidated all of uh, Patrick's toys, because like the best way I could describe somebody like Patrick, they're a man that doesn't have hobbies. They have he has toys, and even if you were to li liquidate all of Patrick's toys, like his four-cylinder automatic old Mustang and his uh, his hog you're not going to get anywhere close to what the value is on this debt. I don't believe Patrick has life insurance. I, I don't believe that Patrick has... I would be surprised if Patrick didn't have health insurance. I don't believe Patrick has any form of retirement whatsoever. I don't think he has an IRA. Um, I, I, just, I just don't think Patrick has two pennies to spare. I think Patrick is one of those individuals that as soon as the money comes in, he spends it. He lives far beyond his means. And I don't think he wants to admit that because that's going to be yet another one of his um, bubbles that he lives in, this cocoon of just bullshit that's going to be stripped away from him. Because um, like, I, I try to look at like what he could possibly be making money off of based off of how he presents himself online. When he was going on those ancient alien style shows on History Channel, they don't they don't really pay you like may, maybe they gave him like a hundred bucks per episode that he was in but like like that, that's not a job and everything I've seen from his book sales and all like I, I do not believe that he he gets royalties on them. or if he gets royalties on them they're probably next to nothing I don't I don't think he possibly sells that many books and stuff like he, he just needs to grow up this is what's so stupid, because he, he, like, at the amortization thing, this is what he should have done. He should have just opened up his books and be like, look, you want the money out of me? Judge, where did they get the money out of me? I'm a broke motherfucker. That's what he should have done. But then again, that would be, a, you know, a kick in the teeth to his ego. And that's one thing this guy has shown, that the only thing that's important to him is his ego. And he'll drag anyone and everyone down with him. Um, it's ludicrous. It's it's a waste of time and resources. It's really irritating to me, um, as a taxpayer and all, you know, that our court system has to get get sucked into handling dumbass cases like this just because Patrick, his ego, can't abide him just acting rational like an irrational adult. You know, it's just you know, it's, it's so ludicrous. It's so silly. Now, I don't believe he's actually going to serve court time. Or, I'm sorry, jail time. I, I legitimately don't. But I do believe that the court is going to force him to open up his books. 
I will say this, if Patrick if if Patrick tries to clap off at the judge the same way he tried to clap off um, when that one guy went to hooligans and Patrick, you know, Patrick kept saying that he, he's going to kick his ass and feed him his teeth. And the guy's like, well, I'm going to show up. Let's do it. And then when the guy did show up, and then Patrick tried to get a protect, like, again, Patrick tried to get a restraining order. And it's like, why, why are you sucking up the court's time? Like, if he talks to this judge the same way he talked to, the, he started trying to clap off at that judge. Um, I think Patrick's in for a rough time. I just don't think that they're going to throw him. I, I, I just, I don't believe that they'll throw them, throw him in jail for contempt of court um, in this situation. But then again, I, I am constantly thinking, well, there's no way he could he could self-emulate um, like this, you know, like in a new way. And he finds a new way every every single day, every single week. So <clears throat> we'll see. Um, I just. I feel bad for that porcelain guy because I don't know how he's ever going to get this documentary done because it's like every three weeks Patrick Patrick must add like another 20 minutes to that that guy's script good luck with that porcelain you're pushing a boulder up a hill in hell like Sisyphus but um anyway I gotta I gotta get off because uh, I'm gonna have people showing up soon. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, please, with this heat, please check on family members and stuff and friends, especially the elderly, and keep an eye on kids. Um, heat stress is the number one killer. Any weather-related deaths, the largest number occur uh, involving uh, heat waves. So uh, please check in on people. Make sure you hydrate. I know I, I've been out in the field for like the last two weeks, and uh, I, I probably have lost like four pounds just from uh, working outside. Uh, so y'all take care. Ciao.